I want to speak about something very imminent right now. Here is a picture of Hiroshima, the way it looked after that flash, that terrible flash. A little girl was in her kindergarten. She was five years old. She was waiting for her friends to arrive at the nursery school. And uh, they never got there because at 8.15 a.m. on that day, I guess I was around two years old, she saw a sudden flash. And then there was a, a definite loud bang. A, it was deafening. And then the whole city of Hiroshima. Uh, it's unbelievable uh, to think about this. Uh, what could happen? Uh, I think th there were hundreds of thousands of people who died, if not instantly, within the next couple of years or, or thereafter. When I was two years old, I had no idea that this was going on. Here I was, a little child. This, this person was only three years older than me. Under, under the, the flash of, a, of the first nuclear explosion in war. Three days later, there would be a Nagasaki atom bomb and then Japan would surrender. Now, Japan is seeing these missiles being fired right over her uh, from North Korea that can contain nuclear warheads. Can you imagine how traumatizing this must be for the 100,000 or so survivors that are still alive who, who experienced Hiroshima and Nagasaki? And I want to show you a very important uh, commentary on the book of Revelation. It's called The Apocalypse of John. And it's, uh, uh, it's, it's the commentary and translation is by Beckwith. You can get this from uh, Baker Bookhouse. And uh, you might be able to download a free PDF file on, on the internet. And you, you need to to go back and get a picture of these people. They look like ghosts. They're walking, many of them are naked. They have flesh hanging off of them like, like rags. They're saying, water, water. And of course, if you give them water, they take one sip and it kills them. Uh, but th these are the walking dead, the survivors of a nuclear attack. But now North Korea is saying that within a year, 90% of the American population will die, not because of a direct hit from a nuclear weapon, but because of something called an electromagnetic pulse. Uh, uh, nu uh, the, the nuclear gamma rays actually fry the electrical grid system so that the life-saving medication that's in your refrigerator, the refrigerator doesn't work. Uh, the, all the meat, uh, all the food, the milk, the ice cream, everything, you, you're walking around in a, in a dark house, no electricity. Your, uh, your iPhone is useless. It's just a paperweight because the subway system, everything, nothing works. You are suddenly thrown into a medieval hell on earth. Here's what it says. Men will, it says, they will seek death, but will not find it. Revelation chapter nine, verse six. They will long to die, but death will elude them. That's what those days are, are, are going to be. So if you feel like you really don't need God, 
and you have a wonderful life in this world and everything is going your way, remember that in this chapter, a, a, an abyss is depicted and it's locked. And, 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 and it's a picture of Gehinom, the smoke coming up from the fire of Gehinom. And that, that hell is in the, in the bitter by and by, not the sweet by and by. But before that, there is this hell on earth. Now, with all of the enemies that, that America has, and with all of the nations that are either already, or they already have nuclear weapons, or they're getting nu nuclear weapons, can anyone in their wildest imagination imagine that there's not going to be another Hiroshima or an EMP uh, hell of some kind coming? And so when you go back and you look at the prophecy here, how did, how did Yohanan know this on the island of Patmos? How did he get this information? This harbinger of the great day of the Lord, these locusts, these demonic locusts, these, these locusts. Now, you know, uh, uh, the locust swarm would, would darken the sun and for miles you would see nothing except a black sky of these insects from the north, from the south, from the east to the west. They would come and the, the young of these locusts would devour everything. If it was green, it would be gone. And a locust swarm was uh, almost uh, an unimaginable uh, Hir Hiroshima type of attack to the people of this first century and of biblical times. However, these locusts, these locusts do not attack anything green. They're not interested. They won't touch it. They want to attack men, only human beings. And they come out of hell and they are able to torment people to the point where they, people desire death. They want to die. Anything to get, get away from this hell, this living hell on earth. But it says, look at this, Revelation chapter 9, verse 6. Death will elude them. So today I want to... Uh, I want to invite you to get the Orthodox Jewish Bible and read the book of Revelation and get your thinking up to speed with God and see each day as a gift from God. Uh, do you have electricity today? Does your refrigerator work? Can you keep your medication cold? Can you keep your milk cold? Uh, do you have lights in the house? Don't use that to watch, to, bin, to do binge television watching and, and uh, Facebook page uh, updating, status updating, and all kinds of, of ridiculous things. Don't waste the opportunity, but redeem the time because the days are evil and use each day for the work that God has called you to do. Because night is coming when no man can work. And this is a, a description of it right here in Revelation chapter 9, verse 6. And I'm speaking today about North Korean EMP hell. You say, oh, wait a minute. The, these wicked people, the, 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 the people who believe in the Bible are being attacked mercilessly. Uh, it's illegal to even own a Bible. This, this man, this North Korean dictator, is the, the epitome of evil. He, he wouldn't be allowed to do something like that, would he? Well, in the Bible, Nebuchadnezzar uh, and uh, these other uh, uh, dictators, these, uh, these regimes, uh, sometimes... Uh, the, when the, the, the people of God get, get so apostate 
uh, God allows these these people to punish them, and th there are books in the in the uh, Tanakh which deal with that very question: Why, why does God allow the evil to to uh, attack uh, the the people that are not as evil? And so, what I'm trying to say is this should open the eyes of the of the people of our country they should repent and come back to god Amen. they should do it now while they can Amen. seek the lord while while he while you can while he's near call upon the lord now uh, open the bible and, and and see what's going on see the the urgency uh, of the hour because uh, we need we need to preach the gospel. We need to preach the gospel now. Uh, right now, I'm formatting the New Creation Bible for Muslims, and this is dedicated to one fourth of the world's population. And I'm spending 18 hours a day doing that because I don't have much time left. Uh, I have a stent in one of my arteries, and uh, I'm 74 years old. And I, I've got to uh, make each day count. And you might say, well, I'm a millennial. I'm only 18 years old. Uh, I'm, I, I've got uh, everything going for me right now. Uh, I can be kind of uh, laid back and loose and a little cocky. No, friend, you cannot. Because you, not, you might not be as fortunate as the little five-year-old Japanese uh, child that I began this sermon with, describing her in her nursery school inside the building where she would be protected from the, 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 the initial blast and the radiation, seeing the flash of light and having an opportunity to escape before the building collapsed. And then the horrors of what she, she witnessed as they made their trek to safer to safer uh, land, you might not you might not be as fortunate as that 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 girl, or as as fortunate as I was as a two year old three years younger, uh, in Indiana. You you might not be that fortunate, and so well, today is the day of salvation, Lord. I want to pray right now that you will open the eyes of many young people in the United States and many other people who are uh, resting on their lees and who think that they can go on and on with their luxuries and their freedoms and that everything will be just as it always was and that they, they have no uh, urgent uh, uh, manifesto laid on them by Almighty God. Lord, I ask you to open their eyes, open their ears. And Lord, I pray that every one of them would say, Yeshua, thank you that you gave us this warning through the, the prophet, the, the Shaliach, Yohanan. Thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you came to, to uh, prepare a place for us and that you're coming back in the glory clouds and every eye will see you, even those who pierced you. And therefore, this warning of these, these devastating uh, uh, occurrences in the meantime, we take it to heart and we ask you, come into my heart, forgive my sins, take control of my life. As the Shaliach, uh, the Moshiach, the Cohen, the Melech, the Savior, Hadon, and everyone said, Amen. Amen.